Hi, this is Soft Cell Electrical and I'm your host John. Welcome to episode number two, Electrical Testing Aids. Please keep in mind that this is not a school. You don't graduate. This is an aid to better help you understand what they give you in school if it's a little bit hard to fully comprehend what they're throwing at you because a lot of stuff is technical and some teachers just don't know how to relate to their students. Basically, this is going to be Article 100, which is definitions, and I'm going to be selective about it, which means I'm not going to use every definition that's in Article 100. I'm going to take the definitions that are either ambiguous or not in the book at all. And believe it or not, there's a lot of stuff that's not in the book and that will be covered. Another thing I would like to mention is that what I read to you and what comes up on this board is not going to be verbatim. In other words, it's not going to be word for word right out of the code book because that doesn't work for me. What it is going to be is it's going to be in my own words so I can express it to you. It's going to be simplified. That way if you're stuck on something you can come to my channel, look it up, and hopefully get a better understanding of it. So, with that said, let's get started. Of course, we're going to start in the A section and work all the way through Z. The first definition I want to cover is accessible, pertaining to equipment. It means easily approached, not blocked or locked, not too high to reach or too difficult to reach or access. Next accessible pertaining to wiring wire that can be removed or looked at without breaking the building or equipment not encased inside a finished building next accessible or readily accessible just like it sounds really easy to get to no encumbrances it means you don't have to be a contortionist to get what you want to inspect or work on easily accessible would really best describe readily accessible. Next is ampacity. The amount of amps that you cannot exceed in wires under constant use without going over its temperature rating. This definition is of great importance later on when we get into wire fill, wire size, and other situations where temperature is a definite factor because temperature and ampacity are directly related. Next, appliance. This is an easy but important term. This term almost always refers to residential settings. Examples of appliances would be an air conditioner, a refrigerator, a washer and dryer, an oven, an overhead microwave, or even a blender, toaster, or deep fryer. But do remember this. There is a big difference between a fixed or mounted appliance and a portable or movable appliance. This will come up later in the code book, but for now an appliance is just an item that has a specific use in the home. Next is approved. This just means that the building department or the contractor's board says it's okay to use it or any other governing authority. We move on to the AHJ or authority having jurisdiction. As far as the NEC is concerned, the AHJ is usually going to be the contractor's board or the city building and safety department which issues permits and does inspections. Basically, it's a throwback to scope as I defined in electrical test prep number one. I realized this was a very short video. I wanted you to kind of get a feel for what to expect because there's quite a few videos ahead. They're going to run longer and you're going to have more definitions. Keep in mind, I'm not going to go over every definition and everything that I read is going to be pretty much how I interpret it. And if you take what I say and write and compare it to what's actually in the book, you'll find that the words aren't exactly the same, but the meaning is quite clear and it'll help you completely understand what's actually in the code book and it'll be a major step forward in your total understanding of the code book. So thanks for watching and have a great day.